All right, in this video, we are going to be talking about the biggest enemy of A levels, O levels, SSC, HSC, or any different curriculum of examinations that you are about to take, and that is procrastination, time management, and how to manage work. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about procrastination, how to manage your time in a given time interval, given that you have your exam in exactly 30 days. A lot of people will tell you a lot of different things. They might work, they might not work, but this is something that has worked for me and that is why this is the second video of how I got 9 A stars in my O levels and 5 A stars in my A levels and how I aced my A level examinations. If you have not watched the first video, please watch it right now. The link is in the description below. It's about starting early and the second video is all about procrastination and time management. I hope you guys are gonna love it. With no further delay, let's start off with the video. Right. So what does procrastination mean? Procrastination means delay, right? When we delay our work and when we think that we might be doing this work a couple of minutes later on, right? Do I not procrastinate? Trust me when I say this, you will never find a better procrastinator than me. I have procrastinated all my life and I'm still doing it right now, making this video while my assignment is still due. So how do I manage it? Especially let's talk about my A-level time. So I was applying to over 30 colleges. I was preparing for my A-levels, I was maintaining a youth organization, I was doing a couple of internships, I was doing a particular work in Spectra School of Autism as an IT teacher, and along with that, I was trying to make a couple of YouTube videos, hang out with my friends, and etc. So how do all of these things compile together and give you the eventual feedback, right? Should a person procrastinate? I would say that if your parents tell you, Jay, study 24-7, only study, that makes you a better procrastinator than a parent who tells you that take a bit of break, study, and then do something else, right? So this is the ninja technique, or you would say the secret formula that I have used that has helped me a lot. And please try it from today and let me know in the comment section below whether it helps or not. A lot of people tell us that during our A-levels, we should be maintaining a schedule of when to do what. Let's say from seven to eight, I'm gonna do this. From 8 to 9, I'm going to do maths. From 9 to 10, I'm going to do this. Then I'm going to take a 10 minutes break. A lot of people follow the one hour work and five minutes of mobile strategy. A lot of people do not even keep their phones in front of them or any electronic devices in front of them when they work. Ironic because I have to do all my work on my phone and on my laptop. So there is no way that I can put them back. But in general, I would say that all of these ideas, whether it's number one, leaving your phone somewhere else, or number two, one hour study and five minutes break, all these ideas are absolutely useless. Use this strategy and it, it's gonna help you 110%. That is, do not make an hourly plan. Prepare a daily plan. Set a goal for 24 hours in your life and ensure that that goal is completed by 24 hours. So let me just give you an example. If I wanna do two works, all right? I will be setting up these two works for 24 hours and I'm going to be setting a goal. I have to complete this work within 24 hours. It does not matter how many hours of Netflix I watch, how many hours of talk I do with my girlfriend, how many hours of productive work I do, or how many hours of time I spend in my extracurricular activity. We have to set up a goal for a particular deadline. This is what I used to do for my A-level and O-level examinations. A lot of people used to think in high school that Vipro studies so much, he has completed all the past papers ever. But only my close ones know that until like 10 p.m. at night, I used to like procrastinate so much, you know, watch a lot of YouTube videos, watch a lot of Netflix movies. I am a very uh, huge fan of war movies. So I used to procrastinate a lot during my examination. And I think you who are watching this are also procrastinating by watching this video, but this is not procrastination because you are using something for something useful. So all those two works, let me give an example of past papers, right? So I have a goal that by today, by 24 hours or not 24 hours before I sleep, I'm going to be completing five May, June examinations from 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to be completing these five papers before I sleep. So some people have some ways of doing it. Someone might be doing five at a go and then take a break. Some people might say that, okay, these are greedy people, all right? No, I have to finish this off in two hours and then I'm going to do something else. It does not work. 
So what I want you guys to do is prepare a goal in your mind or in a diary, it does not matter, but you guys have to be serious about what you want to do within this day, right? And once you develop this strategy that by today I'm going to do this, by tomorrow I'm going to do that, you're going to realize that before the exam, everything is done. Unlike someone who's like, I'm going to be finishing this by the end of the month. That does not work. I'm going to be finishing this by the end of this week. That does not work. So the best way of not procrastinating is to make a set of goals, not only academic. For example, my particular a day in a goal would be something like this. That number one, I would be boosting the event that my youth organization is doing to a lot of people. Number two, I will be completing a past paper of maths. Number three, I will be completing three past papers of biology. And number four, I would be making a YouTube video like this. For example, today, my plan is something like this. Before I go to sleep, I'm going to be making this YouTube video. I'm going to be taking my SAT class. I am going to be talking with some of my RYC friends and I am going to be doing my project four with my um, University of Michigan friend Shihab before I sleep tonight, which is like 4 a.m. or 5 a.m., right? So make goals. Even if the goals do not work out, at least you are promising yourself that I have tried. So it doesn't matter if you have a phone in front of you. It doesn't matter how much Instagram you want to go in, how many snaps you want to send. That is perfectly fine. But all you need to do is ensure that the goal by the end of the day is met. How are you going to do it? Well, that depends on you. And a lot of people tell that meditate, meditating helps procrastination. If you tell someone like me to meditate, I'm never going to do that. So the best way of just chilling out is watch a couple of videos, watch some motivational stories, that really helps. If you are idolizing someone, for example, for me, it's like Elon Musk, I see his life and I realize that life is not easy and I have to work hard. And then if I think of people like Elon Musk or Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg, for example, I automatically get motivated to work. So if you're in the physics line, think about Stephen Hawking, a person who was not able to walk, not able to talk. If a person like him can discover so many things about the black hole and about space, then why can't you? So similarly, think of amazing people like that and ensure yourself that you are going to do it. So that is the way you have to say no to procrastination because in life, no matter how much temporary success you get, everything comes down to how much hard you work. So I have no regrets making this YouTube video because I know that there are going to be at least two to three people who are going to be watching this and get benefited out of this, even if I get a couple of less marks in my um, computer science assignment. So this is life. Help people, motivate them, ensure that you don't procrastinate. And until then, I'm going to be seeing you guys for the next video. Thank you so much. I hope that you're loving this series. Thank you so much for 1000 views on my last video on this series. The entire audience that I'm targeting is saturated, but I hope that some people are finding it useful. Thank you so much. I hope that you have a lovely day.